So you've been using Mobility Print and now you want to upgrade it and start using Cloud Print as well. I'm here to make that happen. First off, this video assumes that you're using BYOD devices. For managed Chromebooks and Google Workspace, you can find that video here. I'm assuming that you already have Mobility Print installed on a server or computer with access to your printers. If you haven't, there's another link in the top right corner that can help you get up and running with that. The first step is to open the admin interface and click on the button that says Enable Cloud Print. Confirm on the pop-up and it might take a few seconds to connect to our servers the first time you enable Cloud Print. The next thing to do is to create an invite link. These links allow end users to connect and print to your printers from outside your network. The first step here is to choose a name for the link. I'm going to call it Demo. These names can't be seen by users and are just for the admin to see which invite link is which so you can manage them in the future. The next step is an optional step, which is available to Papercut MF and NG customers, which allows the admin to control which printers can be seen by people with this invite link. I'm going to disable this printer. Another point to note is that when I install any new printers on this server, users with this link will be able to access that printer as well, since I have this option enabled. Before we move on, selecting printers here only changes which printers are accessible over Cloud Print. For local users, they'll still have access to all of them, unless you implement subnet filtering or use Print Deploy, which can deploy specific printers and drivers based on user groups, IP ranges, and computers. The final step is to set the expiration dates. The invite link expiration sets the date for when the invite link will no longer allow users to set up cloud printing. The printing expiration date is useful for when you only want users printing for a set period of time, before they'll be unable to print using the same link anymore. If you're using Papercut MF, you control printing per person anyway, so it is less important to set these dates. I'm going to set them not to expire. Now we can go ahead and generate our link. I highly recommend that you test this link. You can do that by opening this link on a device that is not connected to the same network as the Mobility Print server and just following the steps. You can then print a test page or document and check that the document prints as expected. Otherwise, that's it. You're ready to share the link with your users. There's also a ready to share email that can be copied and pasted directly into your email client. Just before I let you go, I've got one last tip for those of you who use Papercup MF and the Find Me feature. The default setting is to only hold jobs for four hours, but we suggest that you change this to a few days or so, just so that people can print off site and have enough time to get back on site and use their badge to print. Happy printing.